It's a short dress and kind of has like... Oh, this is a dress? Yeah, it's very short. I'll say, as Heidi would say, or ask, is this fallopian? What is fallopian? Meaning you can see the vagina? No, 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 no. It should hit, like, I put it on and with me, it hits right here. <laughs> I'm looking at where it hits you. Oh. It's short. You're owning sophistication in this look, and it's working. And I'm concerned that this is going to look like her daughter. Oh, God. I just wonder whether you would be able to take this same silhouette and just cool it up. Because the way this now looks, mm -hmm. I would want to keep him mm -hmm. away from her. <laughs> she looks um, very sweet and prim. Dude, and, no. and he's rocking it. OK. Thoughts? This looks like she's going to the Oscars. Mm -hmm. This looks as though she dressed up a little to go milk the cows. This fabric is going to be layered. So as the bottle's walking down the runway, it's going to be incorporating a lot of movement. And this is one piece. Yes, I was going to make a jumpsuit to go under, but I no, think I'm too, I don't have no, time. No, no, you do not. No. This is ambitious enough. I'm all for asymmetry, but it just, it needs to look beautiful. Yeah, definitely. You know, as opposed to just kooky. Now you look concerned. If there were ever an opportunity to introduce color, it's this. And I'm just, I'm looking at, quite frankly, a sea of black. Exactly. All these wonderful design details that you have mm -hmm. in the pant, I just feel it all gets lost. Can I tell you something very bluntly? You, yeah. head to toe, yeah. look cooler than this. I'll be blunt. I think you're missing an opportunity when you say you're going to face the collar of the coat mm -hmm. with the same fabric. What do you recommend I face it with, then? I'm, you're the designer. I'm just I'm putting that question out there. Okay. But you've got a lot of opportunity here. Realize it. By comparison, this disappoints me. I feel as though you went to Sabato Couture and took this off the rack. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful look. Mm. I just don't see... The two together. Yeah. What happened to that textile? It was in street. I totally disagree. That was my favorite look out of the entire design studio. You cannot send this without the best. This is really underwhelming. I'm just disappointed to not see what I really thought was a, was a Sabato revolution. Well, I have to tell you, just stepping over here, I wonder, whose work is this? This says to me, hard, tough, and the rest of this says, ethereal, but you may want to have that yin and yang. I do, sort of. But then of. I would say, do more with this. I think you either bite it off and chew it, mm -hmm. or you don't bite it. But you don't want two to be quiet and one to be loud. The cohesion needs to be evident in these three looks. So what is it about this collection that cuts through the noise? You can pick apart the pieces that are uniquely Esther and also uniquely I don't want me. that to happen, though. The collaboration between you should allow you to do things that you wouldn't even conceive of doing individually. That's really what this is about. Take more risks, throw the dice. You want to win. Color is extremely personal. It's extremely subjective. You just have this richness yeah. in these textiles until we get to the white, and I feel it's a big thud. It's disappointing. This color and this. You don't like it together? This is bold and strong. It mm -hmm. makes a statement. This is The word I would use to describe this is insipid, sweet and weak. Oh. I, I'm just perplexed by it. And you know how much I love your work. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm learning here? That less is more. You certainly don't want to over-design. Yeah. You also don't want to under-design. Under Look at this. This is what it's like working on a studio.